Y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty, and we're here for another episode of Yes for the Mess, and we're here to talk about Wendy from The Real Housewives of Potomac, and she recently had an interview with the Jasmine brand, and she was talking about Candace and Monique Child. Lord, I've been trying to get away from this show, but every time I try to get away from this goddamn show, they always come back in the blog, so let's get into it. Now, I'm going to play an audio here. Um, It's going to be from the Jasmine brand, of course. Y'all know I always have to cite my sources whenever I do my Yes for the Mess. Shout out to Rodney the Voice, because I saw him comment in that very, very article, so shout out to Rodney the voice. But basically it was Wendy giving her thoughts and her opinions on the apology that Monique gave um, Candace at the reunion. So once she's done saying what she got to say in the audio, I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you my opinion on what she said. And then in the comment section, you guys can give your opinion on what she said and how you feel about the, about the situation. Situation. Shit. So let's get into the audio. You think that Monique's apology at the reunion was sincere? I think it was too late. Mm. I think it was too late. Um, and and this is what I'm realizing. I'm realizing that when you watch something as viewers, we have the tendency to believe that it's happening in real time. But check this out. That incident happened like in October of 2019. Oh, wow. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Now, do you guys see where everybody's coming from? That happened, that happened in October 2019, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and I believe that's right because that happened before Cam's sippancy and my daughter's sippancy, she was baptized like in November. So I think it happened in October. If that happened October 2019, and then you hit me with an apology in November 2020, more than a year later, mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just me. But that's just me. Mm -hmm. Some people may say it's never too late to apologize. That's true. But don't be mad if that person doesn't accept it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? You can apologize whenever. You can come back. You know, people have faced issues and trauma or whatever. And someone comes back from your childhood and say, I'm sorry. We know we're in elementary school. Sorry I bullied you. Cool. You apologize. But that doesn't mean I have to accept it. That's true. I, I've moved on. So That's people true. have to understand that everything comes at a cost. So you can mm -hmm. apologize whenever, but understand that person is not required to accept it. That's true. And that was the audio from the Jasmine brand with Wendy from the Housewives of Potomac giving her opinion about Monique's apology. Now, here's my opinion on what she had to say in regards to that. Now, you guys already know that I'm not Wendy's biggest fan. I know I don't like Wendy at all. Um, I don't want her to come back to the Housewives of Potomac at all. However, she does have a valid point when she talks about this. Um, sometimes people feel like when a person apologizes to you, that should be the end all be all. You should immediately accept their apology because they didn't have to accept, they didn't have to give you the apology that you were probably, you know, looking for, to be honest. Um, I have been in that mind state where I can accept your apology, you know, because some people can apologize to me years later for doing something to me and I've longed and longed and longed for that fucking apology. I've longed for you to acknowledge that you treated me like shit. You know what I mean? I, I, I want you to acknowledge the fact that you did me wrong. I want you to acknowledge the fact that I didn't deserve what you gave me. I didn't deserve anything that you gave me. I didn't deserve the treatment that you gave me. You know what I mean? Sometimes we long for that and when years go by and time flies by we stop giving a damn about the situation and we really don't give a damn if we get an apology or not that's true right so at the end of it all um when candace was crying for for months about the situation and all she really wanted was an apology from monique because let's just keep it all the way real her and monique were friends at one point in time so for her friend someone that she called a friend someone she called her big sister put her hands on her and you know left her in emotional turmoil of course she wanted that apology but it's been a year and some change 
So now you want to apologize to me. And it's like, you apologize, that's cool, but I ain't feeling it because I should have got it a long time ago. Also, but you also have to get and understand is you cannot tell nobody when they can apologize. Sometimes it takes people some time to really realize where they went wrong yet too. You know what I mean? So we have to look at it from both sides of the spectrum. You know, I don't have to accept your apology at all. I don't have to accept your apology. I don't have to hear anything that you're saying. But I also can't tell you when you can apologize. Um, There's really no time limits on apologies, honestly. Um... Sometimes it takes a person a little bit of time to really sit back and reflect on what they did. And um, sometimes you just got to give them that time to reflect on what they did. But even though you give them that time to reflect on what they did, that does not mean that you have to accept it once they reflect on what they did and once they come to their realization that they were wrong. You don't have to do that. You know, they took all the time they needed to. So now you got to take all the time you need to recover and to move on from said situation. That's the real tea on that. And you know, there have been people that bullied me in, in, in school. You know, I've been, been very, very open about my experiences with school bullying and how I have dealt with it and all of that stuff. So, you know, I know all about somebody coming up to me years later and apologizing. I never forget, I was at a um, funeral one time. It was for my sister's classmate. Um, my sister graduated in 2009 and I graduated in 2007. So I was at this funeral with my cousin and uh, we were walking to the car and um, it was this guy, I heard him call my name. He called my whole name, my first and my last name. And I turned around and I saw him and I realized that he was one of my former bullies. This was 2015. I had not seen him since 1999. So when I saw him, I immediately got this cold feeling, this chill that came across me. And I saw him and I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't even believe you got the audacity and the nerve to even come to me with your bullshit. You know what I mean? The audacity to come to me with your bullshit. You know what I mean? That's, that, that's the mindset I was on when I saw him, right? So, he came up. He wanted a picture. And I'm looking at this nigga like, you not finna be... Like, you ain't finna get no picture with me. You know, that's how I'm looking at him. But my cousin like, Scotty, just take the picture. And I'm just like... You know what I mean? And a lot of people said that I was mean and I was cold or something like that. But I don't feel like I was cold because, I mean, it's been years now. You know, that was over 15... That was like 16 years later when I saw him. Like, you know, like the last time I saw you, you were horrible to me. The last time I saw you, you were throwing paper at me. The last time I saw you, you were trying to get physical with me. Like, like grab me by my, by my collar and my shirt. Um, the last time I saw you, you were calling me the F word. Um... The last time I saw you, you were just absolutely horrible to me. You made me cry in front of my class the last time I saw you. So, 16 years later, my first time seeing you, the last time I saw you, I was 10. Here we are, I just turned 26. And I see you, and now, you want to be cool? You want to be buddy, buddy, buddy? You want to get in the picture with me? You want to do all this? Oh, no, bro, it don't work like that. So, of course, I totally understand where Wendy is coming from. You can apologize to me all day long. If it's on your heart to apologize to me, whenever you want to apologize to me, whenever it comes on your heart, do that, sis. It's fine. But if I don't accept your apology, please don't be mad with me. That's my prerogative. I ain't got to accept shit you give me. With that being said, you guys, that was my yes for the mess. What is your opinion on it? Do you agree with what Wendy said? Do you agree with what I said? What is your thoughts? Please leave it below. Also, make sure you like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media, which will be at the bottom of the video. And I'm out of here, y'all. To my next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.